All right, this is a video on how to install rocket engines in RockSim. Um, and this is the old method. Um, there is a bug in RockSim, so this is the workaround, so follow these instructions. First, we need to download an engine file. And I'm going to use the F240 as my example. And it's from Cesaroni. And here's the RockSim file right here, so I'll go ahead and download that. And click on the download now link and it's going to save it and it's saving it on my desktop and it just popped up right here okay now I can close this out and the first thing that I need to do is to move that into the right location so Roxham can find it so go to your start menu go to the admin folder now in the admin folder there are some hidden files in here and you have to show them. So go to the Organize button and go down to Folder and Search Options. And then from the Folder Options, choose View. And then Show Hidden Files and Folders. So click on that and hit Apply. OK, so now. Let me uh, go back here to admin and I'm s then you want to go to this app data folder so double click on that then double click on the local and then on Apogee components and then Roxim 9. Now this data folder here is where you want to put your engine files so I'm going to take that Cesaroni F 240 engine and I'm just going to drag it in there and there is the F240 engine. Now at this point if you start Roxim and I'll just start up Roxim and I just launched it and if I go to file reload engine data um, it is now looking in this engine data path that was the users admin app data local Apogee components Roxim 9 slash data and then you highlight it right there that shows everything in that folder and then you click add and it added it right here and then you click OK now if I load a um, engine in here or, uh, okay so here's a design and now I go load an engine choose engine and then I scroll down and there's the F240 engine now if you're not seeing it go to the manufacturer filter here make sure it's on the blank one and on the type filter also make sure that's on the blank one so show only the engines that match the motor mount diameter so then it will show up there's the CTI F240 and you click OK and it loaded it in there click OK and you'll see it back here on, on your engine uh, so that is the workaround. Uh, we're going to get this fixed, uh, but please bear with us.